All righty. So now let's head over to Sentry and see exactly what's occurring. So we're going to head over to releases here. I'm going to go ahead and just search my data set here. And let's go and just select one project just to be. I'm going to go ahead and select a team day view at first. So here, it looks like about an and a half ago, I created a release. Another release was created uh, a day ago. And you can see that folks started using this one. And the next day, we're also using this. And then that second day, another release 163.3 was, was sent up. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the 24-hour view. And we'll just evaluate the last two releases here. So we can see here, this was deployed, started using it, people stopped using it, people started using this. And go from there. And here, 322 crashes were experienced amongst three new issues. So from here, I can derive that this is not the, the experience that I want to provide. The, the crash free sessions is at 96.2% here. I should go investigate. It looks like uh, I had this uh, app out while 2.4k users adopted it. And then I put a new one out. But let's go ahead and view this data set and go from there. So just from here, I can tell, are folks adopting it properly? Are there new crashes happening? And should I investigate? And here, are, here is where we're going to see the exact specifics. I'm going to go ahead and dive into this data set right here. And let's go ahead and view healthy. So clicking any of these will build events to be seen here. Now we can derive that hey, it looks like overall we were healthy. We had a dip in traffic here, but there were a lot of crashed and abnormal sessions as well. So let's go ahead to the right rail and view the aggregate metrics from there. So it looks like we had 96.2% crash free sessions with 96.16% on the crash free users. So as I, this is if you're setting uh, user context, we'll be able to also derive that. We can see how many folks adopted this, how many new issues were experienced, which are listed right here, and we'll dive into a bit. And how many crashes, unhandled errors and exceptions were bubbled up and resulted in folks not being able to end their session cleanly. The app decks, if you're sending performance information as well, and then release details, commit information as you're uh, accustomed to if you're using Sentry releases and so forth. And from here, we can also show session duration so we can see how, folks were, how long folks were in our application, the count, the crash free rate in this graph so that we can understand how that's evolving over time as well. And if you're sending web vitals and such, we have all of that information listed as well. So a big point here is you understand what's going on with your application, not just the errors that happen in the performance, but were folks able to you know, get to your app, add the cart, buy that hammer, et cetera. Now from here, I can see the new issues, hop into any of these new issues, figure out the commit that caused it and so forth. I can open this in the issue stream or open this within Discover to get a timeline view of what was going on and further investigate as well. But for the time being, I'm gonna focus back on release health. And then here we have the failing transactions as well. So from within here, I can open up any of the transactions, open all of this up in Discover as well and go from there. So one other use case might be, you know, hey, it looks like this transaction slowed down within this release. I want to go ahead and make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. So I could very easily open this within Discover. And create an alert accordingly as well. So on the count or any of that, and set an appropriate threshold. And go from there as well. to release health. So just go into view. Let's take a view at the release, which is the latest, which I hope fixed them and improved the experience over time. So here's that data set. Let's once again view healthy. When you can see we now have moved to 98.5, but we still have some issues in here. You can see that things are getting better and that this one get helped things but we're still having some issues in terms of some errors and 
from here, we can navigate it to see all the different issues to see exactly what was impacting it and then dive in and go through the workflow to fix these things and go from there. So what we see here is that releases was a first class object within Sentry, right? We tagged them, we even sometimes created them via Sentry CLI, we associated commits and artifacts, but what we've done now is made release a first class interface and a first class overview so that you can understand what's going on and then dive into the appropriate place. A big part of Sentry is that we don't wanna keep you in the tool for too long. As I said, it's important to me for, to play a lot of foosball, to, to hang out with my dog, uh, play racquetball. I wanna be in and out of this. So as we release and as we push new code out there, improving the user experience and new features, we can head over to Sentry releases and figure out what exactly went wrong. Not only from which commits went wrong, but now from the user commits went out and which errors were introduced, but now is the user experience okay? Are we improving it over time? What are the specific issues happening in this release? How is it impacting session duration and crash rate rate and such like that? And then uniting all of this with transactions as well to kind of figure this out. So it's not just about seeing what's broken and seeing what's slow, but it's seeing what's broken and slow in your release. Hopefully that doesn't happen too often. And then being able to act on it from there. So that's it in a nutshell in regards to the feature. It's very easy to enable. Oh, I forgot, did I mention it's free? So all you have to do is just turn this on and then you know, send the session events come up. Sentry eats a cost for that, providing you more actionability from the data that you're sending up here. So we want you all to understand what's going on with your application, not just errors and performance, but in terms of release, release adoption, release impact, and these percentage metrics and be able to act on it from there. 